PSTN trunk, public switch telephone network. In the previous lesson, we learned about the trunk. The trunk we use whenever we want to make a call outside from our system and we want to receive the incoming call. As I have explained you in the earlier lectures that trunks can be of different types depend on the medium that we are connected to. For example, PSTN is one of them. Connecting PSTN trunk lines to a standard computer server. In order to connect the PSTN trunk lines to the standard computer server, we will require the interfacing card. In this course, we are using the DGM A4 series analog card with a single FXO. Before we do that, let me add one more term called DADI that stands for DGM Asterix Hardware Device Interface. In the older version of Asterix, it was known as Zeptel, and then with the version of Asterix 1.6, it is being renamed to DADI. What it is? It is a kind of a driver that establishes communication between Linux kernel and Asterix or Elastix system. It is some kind of a device driver, I would say better. If you do the vanilla install of Asterix, you have to compile Dairy and Linux and Dairy tools in order to configure the card. But in Elastix system, the Dairy is pre-installed. So you don't need to require anything, any configurations. It is pre-installed. All you need to is to insert the card and then click on the configuration. I will show you how to configure the card and graphical mode are in web GUI. So let's see that. So here I have the DGM A4 series with a single FXO module and these are my server PCI slots. As you can see, these are the PCI Express slots which are shorter in length. And uh, before you buy the card, make sure that you have the correct PCI slots available. So I have just installed this one into the one of the available PCI Express slots as you can see and this is just the back side of the card where you can see RJ11 ports and this is my PSTN line phone connectivity from the phone company which I'll connect here. Here I'll turn on my Elastic server. Make sure whenever you are installing the PCI card, your server should be turned off. And here you can see the port status. Right now the card is not detected because I just boot up the server. So I'll click on detect hardware. And clicking on this, the Elastic will try to detect the available hardware on its PCI slots. And we need to wait for a while so that it can detect the hardware. Yes, it is done. As you can see the message comes up so we'll click on OK and now as you can see the as I said I installed the four port card but only on first port I installed the FXO module so as you can see it is showing that detected by asterisk the pink one while rest of others threes it's not showing because it did not install so this is the card name now I'll click on the configure span this is used for the software based eco cancellations. If you have eco on your PSTN lines, which is the analog lines, then you can do the software based eco cancellation and you can select the eco canceller modules on each line or port. And you can see that we have only on the first one, which is the FXO, because we install a single FXO. And then you can click on save and can close this one. And again, I'd like to show you that it is first port only we install the FXO module. That's why it's showing in the pink color and shows as detected by asterisk. And after that, you can click on the PBX tab and can go to the left side. There is configuration menu and click on the trunks. By default, when you install Elastix, a default trunk is created, which is usually a PSTN trunk with the, as you can see right now, the we can put the trunk name and it's shown as Daddy because you know that is the analog one 
and we can we can do the settings on this so there's an important thing which i like to point out at this stage is the dial pattern dial patterns is actually we use to control the access of outgoing calls for example on some systems you allow to make a call on the on the mobiles are you only allowed to make a call on the international or you want to restrict the international calls or the long distance calls so that all settings will do in the later videos will show you how you can restrict or how you can enable certain numbers like toll free or landline numbers dialing in